Cool. So today I want to talk about algorithms. Um, more specifically, I want to talk about an algorithm. Uh, my name is Gordon Diggs. I work for Paperless Post in New York City. Um, but this talk isn't about that. See, in my free time, I collect these. But I started getting a lot of them, and it's hard to keep track of them all. So I made this, which is a Sinatra app that uh, I can catalog all my records in. Um, it makes these, which um, I don't know if you can really see that, but they're pie charts for the frequency of every value in every column, because um, obviously that's something you should know about your record collection. Um, so at first I did this, which should look familiar to anybody who's ever written MapReduce code or concurrent code. Um, so yeah, it's really cool if you have a thread for that, but it sucks because it's super slow. Um, with 9,000 items, that algorithm took about 23 and a half seconds. So fine, what do I do? Um, first step I did was just reduce the need to do it. Cache the result, only ca recalculate when something changes. Problem with that is I get a lot of records. So I had to find another way to do it. The first step was to ditch Mongo for Postgres. Um, <laughs> And I did that because SQL has cool stuff like counting and grouping, which is kind of exactly what I'm trying to do. So here's the new solution. Um, at the heart of it is just this one SQL statement um, that selects um, the certain column, counts them, groups them, orders them, because might as well, um, and then just a little bit of data cleanup. And so with this new solution, with the same 9,000 items, this takes about half a second. Um, so, why is that? Because SQL is way better at this than we are. Um, and so, because of this, I can run it whenever I want. Um, it'll scale way better so that when I have 9,000 records, I don't have to wait 30 seconds for my page to load, and I can stare at graphs all day. Um, so, the takeaway from this is that there are things that Ruby does really well, and there are things that SQL does better than Ruby. Um, so, don't be afraid to you know, learn a little SQL if you don't know SQL or jump in and write some SQL. Thank you.